What's up guys, welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joe Snow. Today I have for you some good news, but also some bad news in the world of jailbreaking. So, I'm going to start with the bad news because they're important. And iOS 9.3.5 was released. Yes, I thought Apple is kidding. I, I, I thought they're, they're just making a bad joke, but no, they are not. They released iOS 9.3.5 on August 25, 2016, which means that basically we're screwed. Why? Because iOS 9.3.3 was the latest firmware to have a public jailbreak for 64-bit devices using Pangu. And guess what? Apple decided today not to sign iOS 9.3.3 anymore, as well as 9.3.2. Uh, you want to know some strange fact? Apple kept the iOS 9.3.2 and 9.3.3 for a month, uh, still signed it after 9.3.4 was released. So you could in, you could have installed iOS 9.3.4 as well as 9.3.3 or 9.3.2, very important, uh, for a month after the iOS 9.3.2 um, expired and 9.3.3 was released. So what's the problem? It's the first time when Apple in, in their history kept the uh, signature window that long for a jailbreakable firmware. Nobody knows why. But today they decided to kill that and they stopped the signature window for both 9.3.3 and 9.3.2 and probably soon they will stop the iOS 9.3.4 as iOS 9.3.5 was released just to address a few bugs and exploits on kernel developed by uh, Citizen Lab and Lookout, kernel again and WebKit documented as CVE 2016 and the numbers right here. Basically memory uh, corruption issues on addresses and basically the effect was that uh, visiting a maliciously crafted website may lead to arbitrary code execution, basically jailbreak, and on the kernel side an application might be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, jailbreak, using Pangu's IPA application. So what are the uh, good news? The good news are that this guy right here might have developed iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak. Uh, he posted today a uh, video in uh, which basically he demos the iOS 9.3.4 he call it, he calls it over sky aka flying CDA installation basically jailbreak on his uh, I think what I think is an iPhone uh, 6 or 6s and basically uh, people don't know what to think because at first the category of the video is comedy why the hell would he put the video on the comedy uh, if it's not a prank or something, but even look at Desco is basically agreeing with this guy and he is not some random guy, he says he's an Android and iOS senior uh, security engineer at Alibaba. Alibaba is basically the alternative for eBay or Amazon on China, basically a huge market. And he basically works with FireEye, Baidu and Tencent. Well, he posted this video demoing the iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak. Do not get your hype and your uh, hope very up because he is probably not going to release it anyways because this guy doesn't have any history on releasing any jailbreak uh, or any utility for that. And he might be able to sell the exploit to Apple, they said, uh, which probably this is what happened if we have iOS 9.3.5 released a few hours ago. So it's not an old thing. iOS 9.3.5 was released three hours ago, exactly three hours ago. So uh, I don't know if he sold any exploit. People were concerned about this thing right here, that he might be uh, selling the exploit to Apple and something like this. But if this guy would have released this thing, it would have been working for 32-bit devices, from what I heard. So this brings me back to the problem of the video. Uh, is it fake? I have no idea. Uh, we cannot prove it in any way. But remember the iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak by Flying GB? I presented this thing on my jailbreak playlist a couple of um, months ago in... Um, 
June. And basically, uh, he demoed again iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak. He called it flying jailbreak, but he never released anything. Which brings me back to the idea of a uh, jailbreak that it's either not completed or that will never be released for public. Which is kind of bad. At least we know that iOS 9.3.4 is still jailbreakable. Of course, with, with another exploit or another set of exploits than Pango uses, because Pango's exploits were patched in iOS 9.3.4 by Apple. But here comes the bummer. If this jailbreak was to be released, it can't be released anymore, because iOS 9.3.4 will become useless in a few days. Because Apple released 9.3.5 and they actually keep 9.3.4 just for a few days, then it it gets closed and I think this is basically it. So guys, do not update to 9.3.5, do not update to 9.3.4 if you have any update and do not, simply do not click that update. If you're on 9.3.3 and you're jailbroken, stay on the uh, jailbreakable firmware because there is no ATA, there is no, um, there, there is nothing actually um, saying yes it will be a jailbreak on the following date um, no so uh, you better not update uh, believing that this guy will release anything or that pango will create anything for 32 or 4 do not update if you're on 32-bit device iphone 5 iphone 5c iphone 4s uh, ipod touch fifth generation and so on uh, ipad 2 do not update remain on ios 9.3.3 you don't have anything to lose I know there is no jailbreak for the moment for you on the 32-bit devices, but if it gets released by Pango later on, you won't be able to use it if you're on 9.3.5. Um, I thought Apple will stop creating 9.3.x firmwares and they will start focusing on iOS 10, but they did not. Basically, the iOS 9.3.5 tells you that they did not. And this means that we need, again, new keys for firmware decryption, new exploits for kernel for those who want to make jailbreak, new vulnerabilities, which are harder to find. And as you can see, Apple keeps making it harder and harder to jailbreak, but not impossible. So, what do you think? Is Apple trying to kill the jailbreak? Tell me in the comment section what you think. And about this guy, even though it looks legit, and even though he has some background activity as a uh, developer on his channel including here the iOS 9.2.1 demo of jailbreaking which again we cannot prove it if it's fake or not we can't say anything like he will release that he will do that probably he is not going to release anything probably he will sell the exploits remember these rhodium bounty for an exploit of webkit that was uh, for iOS 9.1, for example. So yes, those things are happening every time. And if you find an, a great exploit for jailbreaking remotely using Safari or using an application like he does for 9.3.4, which basically is untethered, as I can see from here, uh, basically he would sell it because he gets a lot of money from exploits and not only him, everybody that creates exploits for jailbreaking, if they sell it on a bounty like Zerodium was for 9.1 as I said, they get money and that that's why you don't really get those things burned out for public usage because yeah, you got it. But about this guy, Yes, looks legit. I think he does have the iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak if it's not a scam or something like this, but I seriously doubt he will release anything. So, yeah, but you probably know the hopes are dying lastly. So, this is basically it. I wanted to keep you updated on uh, Apple's activity, including the 9.3.5, which was released. And I really wanted to stress this thing out. Do not update to 9.3.5 nor to 9.3.4, no matter what. Because if you do that, you will basically get stuck. Do not do that if you want to jailbreak your device. I again stress this thing out. So this is basically it, guys. Thanks for watching, do not forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to stay updated on the jailbreak and iOS related stuff. Till the next time, I'm Joe Snow, you are on iDevice Central, 
Peace out.